and welcome to Robotics and Automation in Under 5 Minutes. I'm Peter Detmer. Today's segment is going to be on macros. Macros are used in robotics to execute tasks in the background. You may have heard of macros in software such as Excel or Word, where you can create small segments or steps and then execute them by pressing a single button or executing a single command. The same thing is possible in robotics. Uh, you create a program and you either include logic only, meaning no motion, or you even can include motion commands. And depending on which one you choose, you have to set the program appropriately, then you assign the program to a button or a manual function, and then it can be executed by an operator, let's say targeting a gripper opening and closed, or sending the robot to a repair or home position by simply pressing the teach button that you have assigned. So let me first show you real quick the logic I have assigned. This program is uh, a simple program that's designed to pick up a battery and then place it over in the other tray. The other program I have is logic only, meaning it's just executing a digital output or evaluates values. Um, in this program, I'm checking if the gripper is open or closed and then reverse the state of it. If we look at the detail of this program, you can see the motion group mask is all asterisks. So if you have a macro that's only logic, you have to make sure you have no motion group assigned so no motion can be executed. To set up the macro, we go to setup, macro. I have a name given already of toggle. So I already have a, a comment assigned. Now I'm going to cursor over to the program section, select F4 choice. Go down to my macro that are labeled toggle. User key because there's no shift required to execute this logic. Button one has been assigned. The other one, the get battery, I'm going to curse over to program again, choice, select my program, which is called macro move, assign it. From the selection, I select the SU, the shift user key, because there's motion involved, and assign button number three. So now to demonstrate, I'm going to select a different program. Here you can see in the foreground, the main program has been selected. Now to execute motion, as always, you have to hold the dead man switch, press reset, hold the shift key, and I'm going to press the button that executes the program. You see the robot is going over, grabs the battery, and places it in the tray. In industry, this could be sending the robot to a repair position, uh, purge maybe some material out, or clean the tip on a welding system. Now that this is done, I'm going to show you really quick. No deadman switch. I got faults on the system. I want to open and close the gripper. I simply press the button F1, 201, and then toggle it on and off. Very simple for operators to do. So this is how you program a macro in FANUC Robotics TeachBand and Programming. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website and Google Plus page. Thank you.